As mentioned before, the magic box is truly the core of my viewboard whiteboard. Now, it provides you with many teaching assistants. Last episode, we talked about the, how to import your current files. Today, we are going to be talking about the tools that it offers. There are many, many tools that are designed to help you in your teaching. The first thing that I want to talk about is this timer and stopwatch. It's right here at the tools uh, selection. You can see the timer right here. When you click on it, you can set the time right here. For example, a five minutes timer. It really helps you when it goes into when you go into a, maybe a discussion time. Say, uh, students, let's have a three minutes break, a three minutes discussion, a five minutes break, so on and so forth. You can really keep track of the time. For example, a five minute timer I'll start and then I can enlarge it a little and all the students will know uh, that how much time they have left so this is very good for your classes time management now the next one I want to talk about is stopwatch if you're uh, playing a game of how much time it takes for you to do something you can start and then for one second two second you can stop all right it takes you 2.7 seconds it's very exciting for students to see this going the flashcard function is very helpful when it comes to reviewing or intrigue the student's motivation. For example, uh, if I'm teaching Canadian geography today, I can ask, what is the capital city of Canada? And then maybe I can add some image, uh, elaborate on my question a little, and then when everything is all set, I can flip this card and you'll see the capital city of Canada as Ottawa and maybe there's an, uh, a picture of Ottawa right there so on and so forth so this flash card is very very helpful uh, when it comes to building interaction with students the dice function is right here when you drag it out onto the canvas you can see that it's just a normal dice if you want more than one dice you can add up to nine dice when you have nine dice you can roll them at the same time however you can make customized changes on your dice for example red there's a cog right here when you click onto the cog there is an a right here it means text you can change the text on each side of uh of the dice for example canada peru and and then you can type uh different countries and decide uh where you want to go next or which which country will your students be introducing, for example. So that's the text function. Now, if, say if, I want to import, I want my dice to be more colorful, more interesting. Right beside the text option, there is a ranch looking icon. When you click on this icon, uh, you can add pictures into your dice. For example, I'm going to bring out the apple from the previous episodes and then I want to add this apple into this dice. Now watch closely. The picture can only be added into the dice when it's selected. By selected means that there is a dotted orange line around the object. So this, while I'm doing this, this is not selected. So I cannot add it into the dice. However, if I selected, see there is the uh, orange dotted line and I put it right here there is a red box that shows and then there goes your picture. So you can create your own dice with six different pictures to enhance your teaching uh, environment and experience. So that is the dice function that many of our teachers really do like. <laughs>